Okay, in this video we are going to continue on with the partial fractions theme, but really show you now what it's going to be used for. And really what I want to be able to do is integrate a rational function like 3 over x plus 2, x plus 1. But I'm going to have to use partial fractions first, and an exam question will likely set it up so you do the partial fractions bit first, and then you do the integration. Um, since I haven't done the partial fractions bit first, I'm going to have to do that bit included. So, we are going to write the 3 over x plus 2, x plus 1, as being equivalent to a over x plus 2, plus b over x plus 1. And I'm going to need to find out what the, that a and the b are. So I multiply through by the x plus 2, x plus 1, and I get a lots of x plus 1, plus b lots of x plus 2. Then I can choose values of x that are going to eliminate the brackets. So I'm going to let x be minus 2, so that it eliminates that bracket so I can find a. So I've got 3 is equal to minus 2 plus 1 times a. So minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, so I've got minus a. So that means that a is minus 3. And if I let x b uh, minus 1, then I've got 3 is equal to, well, that minus 1 cancels out that bracket. I've got minus 1 plus 2 is 1, so that means that b is 3. So, I can now say, with that in mind, that I'm looking at the integral between 1 and 2 of um, minus 3, 3 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x plus 1 dx. Okay. So this is going to be equal to, when integrating, minus 3 log x plus 2 plus 3 log x plus 1 integrated between 1 and 2. Okay. So, what can I do from here? Well, I can then, I could um, put them together, I guess, the two logarithms. So let's do that first. I can bring a 3 out the front of the integral. And I could write that as log of x plus 1, take away log of x plus 2. And then, combine the two logarithms, so I've got log of x plus 1 over x plus 2. So that it's easier to substitute in. So, finishing it off down here I think, that would be 3 lots of log of... Substituting 2, so I've got 3 over 4. Take away, substituting in 1, I get 2 over 3. Okay, log of 3 quarters take away log of 2 thirds, times 3. So that's 3 lots of log of 3 quarters over 2 thirds which is 9 eighths. So that's 3 log 9 over 8. And that is really as far as I can simplify my answer down. So you can see how we can now use partial fractions to allow us to integrate something like this and it will traditionally and usually bring about logarithms. Um, which we can integrate as we should be used to.